All right, it's 2018, December, almost Christmas. What are the whiskeys that we rated the highest ratio of price we'd be willing to pay versus what they actually go for? These are the whiskeys you're gonna get to us the best bang for your buck. What that means is if we rated a whiskey $50 and it only costs $10, that's a ratio of 5.0. It's five times what we'd be willing to pay or what we're willing to pay is five times greater than the price of the bottle. That's a good thing for us, people that actually drink bottles, right? So we wanted to know what are the best five whiskeys that we did all year. And these are ones scientifically done for what we actually rated blind. So that's not just what, you know, our opinion or, okay, <laughs> it is our opinion, but at least it was done with science, right? Right. So with that being said, let's get in here, number five. And I will say there was actually three ties for number five with a ratio of 2.67. There was actually two bottles, very similar to this, the Four Roses, Single Barrel and Single Barrel Private Select, they're the ones that we gave, like I said, a 2.67. We'd be willing to pay just over two and a half times what the price that sits on the shelf for. Um, again, that is our area. All that kind of stuff factors into it, but at least you get a good idea of what we're doing here. So, like I said, the regular Single Barrel and the Private Select, well worth it, two and a half times almost. Oh, so good. Mm. just so well balanced earthy fruity herbal everything's in there that you want in the whiskey as you guys can see we got our beautiful lineup here and just some barrel staves that uh i went ahead and cut out out of a barrel so number four on the list also had a 2.67 rating we'd be willing to pay again just over two and a half times what it sits on the shelf for great thing for us drinkers the Wild Turkey 101. How can you go wrong with this? You want something a little more bold, spicy? All the flavors are still there. It's deep, it's complex, great nose. Oh, it's, it's just lovely, guys, come on. I mean, oh man, it's all there. You gotta get you some. All, all five of these are stuff, if you can get them in your area, these are a must keep in your bar. Number three on the list, another Four Roses product, the standard yellow label Four Roses. Again, this came in with a 3.0 rating and this is something you should be able to find any store that's worth anything. They're gonna have the regular $20 bottle Four Roses yellow label, come on. So with this honey, caramel, Vanilla, a little bit of fruity in there. Mm. Yeah. Again, rich. It's got, for an 80 proof bourbon, it has a great mouthfeel. Coming into number two on the list, which is just over that 3.0 rating, is a 3.03, barely edged it out. George Dickel number 12. Yes, I know. We were surprised. If you haven't seen the episode, go check it out. Holy cow, never would have thought in a thousand years. Blew our mind. That's what happens when you taste stuff blind. Get rid of that bias. Good and bad. So this one right here. Earthy. You get that barrel char in there. That barrel flavor. A little bit of oakiness. Oh man, it's just so easy to drink. But yet, it's got a lot of deep flavors in there. This is one that I put off for a long time and didn't think much about it until we tasted it blind. Took away that bias of the label. I was super impressed. That brings us down to number one. And actually, there was actually two of them in the number one spot. They were really close together. This one had 
a rating of 4.67. And it is right next to the number one spot. And I'm going to pull them both out at the same time. And you'll understand why. The number one spot had a rating of 5.5. Holy cow. Come on. We'd be willing to pay five times what it sits on the shelf for. And if this is why it got taken away, we're sorry. I didn't mean to, okay? Get off my back. And that is the Heaven Hill white and green label. Now, I didn't have a green label, but through the magic of editing, boom, green label. There you go. Picture right here sitting on the bar. So that being said, the white label is just like this bottle, gone. The 100 proof, six year, bottled in bond is gone. If you can find it in a store and it's at a reasonable price, pick it up, it's gone, it's discontinued, it's been confirmed, it's done for. The green label you can usually still find, it's still a six year product, but it's 90 proof instead of 100 proof. But with that comes a little bit cheaper price tag, so there is that little bit of a bonus for it. I know, I like the bigger proof too, but give the six year green label a shot. And now, again, through the magic of movie motion editing, all gone, boom. I hope you guys enjoyed our top five. Let us know in the comments what you would put in there. Like I said, this is done purely with science based on our blind tasting. We have an awesome episode this Friday a barrel proof showdown Friday at noon where we taste everything blind. Go check it out. I just want to give a huge shout out to our patrons. Love you guys. We couldn't do this without you. If you guys want a list of all the bourbon we did forever, what the price we gave it and how that ratio compares good or bad, it's on a spreadsheet on our Patreon page. Go check it out. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already, if you like what we're putting out. And follow us on Instagram, Patreon, Facebook. And until next week, Friday, noon central, drink blind.